a great leader, Madiba, Nelson Mandela. Our area today is sacrifice. What comes to mind when I think of sacrifice is what is your vision? You see, a sacrifice for one person may be a suicide for another. Because if you don't see the vision, then you don't have the impetus, you don't have the energy, you don't have the octane, you don't have the momentum to sacrifice. But if you see the vision, like a mother with her children, she sees the vision. So when they're squabbling about something that could be small or almost insignificant, she knows how to ignore it because she sees the vision of them growing up to be sane, healthy, positive, happy adults. She sees the vision. The five-year-old doesn't see the vision. All he knows is he's been infringed upon by his brother or sister. Or all he knows is he didn't get something for Christmas that he wanted. So he can't see the vision of a larger picture or a larger financial need. So he thinks the world has collapsed and she is making poor decisions. How well can you see the vision? The mother that sacrifices her life and her entertainment and her friends for her children sees the vision. How well can you see the vision? When you are part of a team, can you stop being an individual for the good of the team? How well can you see the vision? Are you emotionally prepared to forfeit some of your own personal self-aggrandizement in order to achieve a bigger end for people and a group and a team and a country and a world bigger than you? How well can you see the vision? So the core becomes your capacity to see and then your strength to commit to what you see to accomplish what it is you desire. And when you are able to do that, you can stand up, you can straighten up, you can lay down, you can transform, you can get in front of a tank and let it roll over you because you see the vision. Over to you, Kevin. I'd like to thank you for calling in to today's morning inspirational message. It is our desire that you begin to look at the vision. You begin to sacrifice. You begin to see what it is you want to be. See what it is you want to do. See what it is you want to have. And then be willing to pay the price. Because for everything in life you get, you have to give up something. We'd like you to call a friend, call a family member, begin to discuss what you have heard, begin to share what you have heard, and begin to evaluate how it looks, how it feels, and how it is shaped, what you're willing to be, what you're willing to do, and what you're willing to have. And most importantly, the cost of it. The beauty of this medium is you can call in, you can revisit it, you can hit us up on YouTube and study what you've heard. You begin to look at it and evaluate what you see, what you hear, and what you feel. Take a moment to log in and leave your comments, leave your questions, leave your concerns. Discuss what you have heard. Begin to interact with those around you and begin to put your comments down. Ventilate and download your thoughts and your feelings for your own transformation and your own growth. We look forward to bringing you this message, this message of optimism, this message of positive expectations, this message of growth and transformation to lift yourself up and lift those up around you. Thanks you for calling in. Have a great and fantastic day. Don't forget to touch the lives of those around you. Lift them up. Support them. Show them the way. Be a path for those who cannot find the light through the tunnel because your light can transform and lift others in ways you can't imagine. And guess what? When that happens, things will come to you when you least expect it to elevate you and jettison you to another level. This is your friend and brother, Brother Tambuzi, saying have a great and fantastic day and we'll see you next time.